Welcome back to a Toll Tutorial, by the way, and I uh, hope everybody is safe and well out there. It's a blustery day here in the Midwest, so if you hear some wind blowing in the background, it's just the wind outside my studio, not a sound effect. <laughs> so, all right, um, this tune is in standard tuning with a capo on the third fret, as many of his songs are. Um, this tune is, char is characterized by just relentless arpeggios on the A, D, and G strings. And uh, so that's, uh, I think, one of the things that makes this song difficult is just that continued uh, arpeggio. It's pretty fast, too. So what I would recommend to practice is, is just fret a D chord, and then we're playing, once again, the A, D, and G strings. <laughs> So you alternate pick them, downstroke, upstroke, downstroke. So just start off slowly and work up the pace. Until you can reliably do it, do it at a faster pace. All right, so that yeah, um, the opening uh, of the song, I'll just play slowly here and then I'll describe it. All right, so we start on that D chord and we do the first arpeggio. And then we put our pinky up here on the A string and just do the same arpeggio. So the pinky is fretted here, the D string is open, and the G string is fretted here. And now we're going to skip down and we're going to play the A string. And we're going to pick those notes. We're going to do a down stroke and an up stroke. Like that. And then we're going to be strumming the G chord, and we're playing the G chord with these two fingers, fingers fretted here, and then the rest of the G chord, like this. All right, so after that, once again, after the two arpeggios, So see how after we pick that? And a good way to practice this is just to keep the strumming going and picking that note in between. So that's a good way to practice and get the feel for that. Uh, it's a little bit difficult getting from here because we really want to articulate that. We don't hammer it on. We don't do that. We actually pick it. So you can hear how it stands out better if you pick it. 
All right, so once we do that, then we're gonna move our shape up three frets and we're gonna be kind of doing the same thing. We're still arpeggioing, our, we're still doing arpeggios on the same three strings. But you can see now our index finger is fretted on the G string here. And we're going to put our pinky on the A string again, just kind of similar to like we did down here. We're going to do the same, same thing up here. So see how that's the same? Now we're going to move our index down on the A string to here. And we're playing the D string and G string open and we're going to slide it down more. And do this on the A string and the D string and G string G and the D string and G string are still ringing open. And then we're back to And you can see I'm keeping my finger here. Um, that's because we're going to need to go to that D chord quickly. We're not picking the B string yet. We will later, but we're not now. So you can see the last time we come down those arpeggios. We strum the D chord immediately after that last one. That's why we're keeping that finger here, so that we can slide right into the D chord. Alright, so that's the opening. Alright, so now we're going to go to the verse. And the verse is uses a D chord, A minor chord, and a G suspended chord. Alright, so... Really don't mind if you sit this one. See that we're playing a C-shaped chord. You know, if you had a C chord and you moved your fingers over one string to the A string and G string, then you've got a G suspended. Really don't mind if you sit this one out. All right, so he actually does, you can strum it like that, and that's certainly the easiest way. He actually picks that, uh, he makes it devilishly difficult by picking the A string again, the same notes that we picked before in this. He's going to do it again, except fingered, fingered like this. And then he comes down and hits the bass string on the E. E string down here on this fret. Really don't mind if you sit this one. So that's it's kind of tricky because you got to get back to the arpeggios again after. Really don't mind if you sit this one out. But if you want to get it just like the record, that's what he does. So once again, it's uh, much easier just to strum those. Really don't mind if you sit this one out. So nobody's going to fault you for not picking that note. It took me the longest time to figure out because I kept watching him do it on YouTube and uh, he had this shape and hammering on that note and then finishing on the low E string. Gosh, it took me the longest time to figure out. All right, so we're back to this and uh, you know, the verses are all the same. Just put a whisper, your deafness say shout. I may make you feel, but I can't make you 
thing Your sperm's in the gutter Your love's in the sink All right, so that leads us up into the chorus. And the chorus is going to be this G, uh, G chord with, the, once again, the fingers fretted here. And we're going to be using an A chord and a D chord. So it goes, So you rise yourselves over the feet, the heat, the heels, and you make all your animal deep, the heat, the heels, and your wise men don't know. As a brick. All right, so one thing you'll see is the strumming pattern is steady and even pretty much, aside from the occasional sort of slurred up stroke, so, which would be like, so you ride yourselves, ride yourselves over. So, you know, you can throw in those, but otherwise just keep it uh, strumming steady. So we're just keeping going with that strumming pattern. So what we're doing on the D chord is we're playing that and we're picking up these two fingers repeatedly and then we're playing a suspended with our pinky. Last time we're doing it, we're coming down to the A and doing a similar motif. So we're picking up these fingers and then sliding up to hit hit the suspended on the B B string. And then we're going to strum down and we're going to do a hammer on the same notes. And then we're going to do an upstroke and land on the A string. And then we're going to pause and do another downstroke. So it goes like this. So that's the strumming pattern. To be thick as a brick. And then we start again into the verse. So you wise men don't know how it feels to be thick as a brick. All right, so then we're back into that motif. All right, so the verses and the choruses are all the same. So now we have to get to that kind of bridge part. And we're going to be back up in this position doing that uh, arpeggio. This time we are going to play the B string with our finger fretted here. So we're not playing the top E string, but we're starting on the B string and, and strumming down from there. Okay, so we do that once, and then we're just coming back down that same arpeggio, arpeggio pattern that we did before in the opening. Just like we got into that first verse. Except now we're into... And the love that I feel we're doing a D chord and then an A minor. We're going to hammer on with our index finger on the B string. And the love that I feel. Now we're going to 
going to a C chord and we're, we're including the bass. So we're not playing it just like this, we're including that bass string on that fret. So the love that I feel is so far away. And then we're going to an E minor chord. And then we're going to articulate some notes out of it before we go to the G chord. So what we're doing there is we're playing the D string open, fretted on the second, same with the A string, and then we're playing the E string open, and then we're coming back and hitting the A string again on the second fret. So that's what it sounds like before we go to the G. And this time we're playing the G chord in the sort of traditional open. So we're not putting our two fingers right here. All right, so that. And the love that I feel is so far away. I'm a bad dream. All right, so the, we're to there. So it's a little bit fast. All right, so once we get to the G string, I'm a bad dream that I just. So now we're going to a B minor chord, but we're not playing the it as a bar chord. We're just playing the upper four strings. And we're, we're gonna have to have our index finger fretted across here because we're gonna be coming off and on with our uh, middle finger here. So then we're going to the D, D chord afterwards and we're hammering on those same, you know, picking up the two fingers again. And then we're going to be going to this F sharp type chord and we're going to be lifting our middle finger off the G string. I know that sounds weird and dissonant, but uh, you know it works wonderfully with the melody. So it's you shake your head, said it's a shame. So we're back to that. All right, so let's look how that whole section works again. And the love that I feel is so far away. I'm a bad dream that I just had today. You shake your head, said it's a shame. So I think that part is just so beautiful. You shake your head, said it's a shame. All right, so that's that uh, bridge part there. Now we're coming back up to this, uh, once again, the upper part of the arpeggio. We're just going to be repeating that over and over again while we do that, you know, spin me back down the years. And... Spin me back down the years and the days of my youth. Draw the lace and black curtains and shut out the whole truth. So see, we're just uh, doing that over and over and over until we get to the end of that phrase. Let me sing the song. And now we're coming to this D-shaped chord, three frets up once again. And then we're going to go down to the D chord. And we're doing that hammer on again. 
And then we're going to the A minor chord, D, G. You know, that segs, segues into the um, electric part, which we're going to stop there. All right, so uh, once again, that upper part is... So if you think about, you know, you're doing the same thing. See how similar the picking pattern is? So it's in a different position, but it's very similar to the picking pattern, the arpeggios that were, you were doing down here. All right, so I think that does it. Um, Take care, everybody, and stay safe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.